Hello guys, welcome to today's video. Uh, I have been contemplating getting a bike rack for some time for my little Mini Cooper S here, uh, which does not have rain gutters like uh, a lot of cars, and no roof rail, so it could be a bit of a pain getting a roof bar to fit. Uh, anyway, there are products out there which are suction mounts, so they fit onto any roof, and today I will be doing a review on this two bike Rock Bros, Rock Brothers, whatever you want to say, uh, two bike suction mount rack, which will be going on here. Okay, so what do you get in the box? This is the main part. You can get this uh, separately uh, with two suckers, I believe is just for one bike, but this is the two bike option. Uh, now it does ship with two lots of quick release skewers just in here. Uh, which basically means you can fit any bike that is a standard quick release uh, fitment. Now, of course, my mountain bike is not. It is a through axle, which means I'd need adapters. So I have purchased these from Rock Bros, Rock Brothers, whatever it is. And uh, they basically slide in and they're little adapters which allow you to fit uh, my RockShox Pike forks onto there, uh, which have the, um, I think it's 15mm uh, by 100 through axle. Anyway. So, uh, I'm going to get the car prepared. You need to make sure that the roof is nice and clean so you get a nice suction on there and I'm uh, hoping they don't fall off. Also included are suction pads which allow you to uh, secure the rear wheel on the back of the roof of the car. Um, and one of those is provided per bike. So you've got one for this one, one for that one. So I'm going to give the car a bit of a clean up now and uh, get to it and see how it fits. Okay, so I've gone ahead and cleaned, uh, the, cleaned up the front of my car here. So uh, there are a few little scratches and stuff, which is to be expected of a car that's a few years old. Uh, so I'm going to get on and see how well this sucks onto this car. Okay, so Rock Bros recommend that you spray some water onto the suction cups and onto the roof where you'll be sticking it. Um, obviously, I have got a spray bottle here, but the sprayer doesn't work. So uh, instead, I'm going I'm to douse these uh, paper towel in water and just go underneath where the, uh, uh, where the uh, rack will be applied. And then I'll also uh, apply some of that to the suction cup as well. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so next what you need to do is you need to push this onto the uh, actual roof of the vehicle and pump this in until this white mark is no longer showing. So let's see how that turns out. So far it doesn't seem to be popping back up. Ah, oh, there you go. So you can see that's uh, fully disappeared now. Uh, so I'll go ahead and do the other side as well and make sure all four of those are nice and secure. Okay, so that is all secure. You can see that uh, none of the white parts are protruding here. So hopefully it should be rock solid. I mean, if I do that, it shakes the whole car. So, uh, so far, so good. Uh, it's a little bit nerve wracking sticking your bike on top of your car and it's only held on by suction. Um, but they are tried and tested and people have good results with these. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and bang my bike on the top and see what happens. So the roof rack unit does actually ship with these two little Velcro straps. So you, if you have the one bike version, you get one. Uh, you get one per bike it is designed to take. Uh, so this basically is designed just to uh, go around your cracks and stop them at turning when your bike is on the rack. I don't want my cranks to uh, gouge into the roof when I'm trying to put it on there. So I'm going to secure the cranks now. Right, that ain't going anywhere. Let's get the bike on the car. Okay, so let's get the bike on top of the car and hopefully I won't scratch my car. Okay, so that was easier than I anticipated. Uh, I've got my little skewer handy here, just on the car, so I can bang it in and not have to worry about it then, as quickly as possible. Okay, and first impressions are, it seems rock solid. Now, you will notice when I rocked it there, the car roof does uh, bend and wobble a little bit, so definitely have to keep an eye on that. But I know people that have to use these successfully on their Mini uh, already, so it's nothing to worry about. It's only a thin sheet of plastic, uh, sorry, a thin sheet of metal in the middle of the roof there. So uh, I think we're all good to go. It's nice to know that it actually uh, fits underneath that bar there. So I'm just gonna secure the back wheel and uh, go and take it for a little spin. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna go and give it a little blast up and down the road. I have to say, I'm a little bit nervous. Uh, I mentioned before, I'm a bit skeptical about these sucker things, um, really, but uh, you know, we just have to wait and see what happens, won't we? Hopefully it doesn't fall off. But uh, it has just started raining, so I'm gonna pop the camera inside my door and uh, just drive off up and down the road and uh, you know, hopefully it's still on there when I get back. Okay, so I've just done a little test drive. It was only about uh, a mile, mile and a half perhaps, but I did get up to 60 miles an hour. Um, so I really was a bit daring today. Uh, anyway, uh, all seems good. All of my little poppers are still not showing any of the weight, which is as it should be. And to be honest, when I had it and I was driving along, uh, basically I didn't even know it was on there. Um, but that is by no means a conclusive review. So I shall be coming back when I've uh, had a chance to put some proper use into it. See you then. Okay, so uh, I was, as a, I've just fitted the bike rack so, and I was going to give it some use and uh, sort of report back when I've had a chance to use it properly, but I've just realised I might as well take it home with me tonight and uh, try it. So uh, I thought what I would do while I've got it in a position and it seems to be holding steady, I've added some little, uh, you know, black vinyl markings so I know exactly where it is. Um, so next time when I put it on, I know where to put the back part and all that kind of stuff. So I know my bike will fit. So that's a top tip for you if you're able to do that. I uh, make vinyl stickers for a living, so it's easy for me to do. But uh, I will be really hoping that it is still on there when I get home tonight. I think it is also worth noting that uh, whilst I could have found, uh, I think you can buy them on eBay, some sort of like rather naff industrial looking roof bars uh, that will clamp into this side part of the gutter here, uh, particularly on a mini. Um, the reason I've decided to go for the sucker jobs rather than those, other than the fact they look absolutely hideous, um, if you look just down here, you will see a graveyard of old uh, roof bars from previous vehicles that I've had. There's the one off my old Scenic. There's another set of Scenic ones there. Uh, probably a set off of a Zafira and a set off of a Picasso, um, which is obviously a bit silly. I'm probably not going to have any of those vehicles again, so I'll sell those and put them towards my hardtail. Um, now, this will literally fit on any car. So that is the reasoning why I decided to go for this. Uh, long since, uh, oh sorry, long after I get rid of my Mini, I will still hopefully be able to continue using it on whichever car I decide to buy. Okay, so I'm currently uh, driving home. Don't know if you can just see up there the handlebar, but uh, they do recommend that you check these pump on suction pads every four hours of driving. So uh, I hope it will make the uh, half an hour journey home. Sadly, uh, my car has now decided today is the ideal time for my uh, window to stop working. So uh, I can't even stick the GoPro out and check how things are going on on the way home. But uh, I promise you, it is up there. Let's go. Hopefully also it's raining on the way home. My bike will get a good clean. So I'm about halfway uh, home now, which is about 15 minutes into this drive. And I have to say, everything about me is saying that I should get out and check the suckers uh, to see how they're doing. But if uh, if it can't go half an hour or 25 minutes, then it's no good to me whatsoever. So I'm just going to uh, grin and bear it and just crack on. And uh, hopefully it's still on there when I get home. It is still on there now. Hope you can see that. Shame the road just a bumpy. That's me very nearly home and it's taken me 25 minutes and the bike is still up there. So uh, that is good news and uh, just can't wait to check the suckers when I get home. I'll let you know how it's uh, looking. I'm home, all good. Okay, so I've got my bike rack on again this morning. Uh, I am just heading back to work this morning. So I've got another 25 mile drive, sorry, 25 minute drive. And uh, my window has decided to start working today. So I'm gonna try and get this. So far, so good. 
So it's time for a little bit of an update. Uh, having driven to work this morning again, it was absolutely perfect. When I came to work, actually, my, my roof was actually covered in frost this morning, which concerned me somewhat, uh, but it turned out to be no issue at all. I just pumped them up again, just to check they've got the correct pressure in before setting off, and it was absolutely spot on. I didn't even know it was on the roof. Um, now, I've also got my little lad's bike on as well. I've had to uh, do a quick release conversion on the front because you can only put quick release wheels on these. You can't, no bolt through or anything like that. Uh, sorry, you know, no like bolted wheels like with a 15 mil uh, uh, nuts on. It doesn't work for those. Uh, it has to be a quick release or through axle, like I described yesterday, you need to have the adapter, but it's perfect. Uh, you can absolutely see that there's no problem fitting a couple of bikes on there. You can actually get a three bike version of this one, uh, which I didn't need. Um, so this is perfect for my knees. I can get down and do a couple of little trail centers and stuff with my lad now. Uh, so that is excellent. I'll also go ahead and mark where the position of this back one is for my lad's uh, bike. So I can also just get that on there quickly when we decide to nip out somewhere on the bikes. But uh, I will say one of my concerns uh, was with the mini roof that I've got here is very curved. Uh, so my concern was that you wouldn't get proper suction on the cups. Um, but I'm not worried about that anymore. Uh, you can see the bar actually bends. I mean, this has got a wide angle uh, on it, so it bends everything a little bit anyway, this lens. But uh, uh, you can see there is a little bit of a bend there, and it actually makes the bikes uh, sort of uh, step apart a little bit as well. But uh, overall, I'm very impressed with this. So there she is in her bare bones. Now, I have uh, obviously tested it by taking my bike and my lad's bike on it, um, and it's uh, rock steady, it's great. Uh, so I really uh, am impressed with it, I have to say. Uh, now, what I need to do is try and get these suction cups off, and apparently it's just a case of lifting your finger uh, underneath there. Okay, so it's like a hard, there you go, simple as that. So it just comes off. You do have to put a bit of water underneath and uh, you know onto the roof of the car as well. Uh, you can probably just see my little markers that I'll put there uh, just so that I know uh, where to put them next time. But uh, that will save me a bit of time. Absolutely astonished uh, how well made this thing is. So when you finish with these, they actually come with a cap which you must put back on. They say you must put back on. Um, they're probably not going to come around and make you. But uh, it just helps keep dirt off of the surface which mates onto the roof. So it's definitely a good idea to uh, do as they say there. So that really is the end of this part of the review. Uh, having fitted them and tested them out and uh, been impressed so far, uh, the next test of course is to take uh, my bike and my lad's bike and go to a trail centre somewhere. Uh, the nearest one is half an hour pretty much from where my unit is here um, and about an hour away from where I live. So that will be a good test and I will report back with a final conclusion once that's happened. Okay, the day of reckoning is here and this is my first opportunity to give this Rock Bros suction bike mount a real proper good test. I'm off to Old Hill Bike Park in Bodmin in Cornwall and uh, it's about a 35 minute drive and uh, let's see how the rack gets on. Okay, well I'm almost there and I better just check whether she's still up. Looks good to me. Okay, so now that I've reached my destination, uh, I have to say the old girl is still solid as a rock. Um, I've checked that the pumpers are still pumped up and they're as they were when I left, uh, you know, uh, 30 odd miles away. So um, I have to say I'm very impressed with it. All of my fears that I had about purchasing a suction rack have definitely alleviated um, just because it's still there. Um, and I really, <laughs> I had, I struggled uh, to see how that could happen, but it is uh, as it is. And uh, I have to say, I am overwhelmingly impressed with this thing. Uh, so I would definitely buy another one. So if you're a little bit skeptical about jumping in and purchasing one of these suction rack, uh, racks, then uh, you should definitely do so. Um, you know, if your bike, if your car is suitable for this kind of thing. Um, so uh, yeah, overall, very, very impressed. This one is a Rock Bros um, rack. There are other brands like Sea Sucker and Tree Frog, something like that. Um, but I can only imagine that they're all, you're all pretty much similar uh, devices. Um, this is a cheaper version actually of the Sea Sucker, the Rock Bros or Rock Brothers, whatever. Um, so I can only imagine that the uh, Sea Sucker is even better or you know, just as good as this one. Um, I purchased this one from Amazon. That was the best price I managed to find for it. Um, there is a link in the description below if you'd like to uh, get hold of one of these yourselves, um, which I do highly recommend. Uh, if you click on the link uh, for Amazon, it will take you straight to it. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed the review. Go for it. Light it up and we smoke. Keep me high.